Today, I'm going to share a straightforward method to turn ChatGPT Plus into your own personal assistant. What up, y'all? Thanks for watching AI Roundup, your weekly digest of all things AI related. I'm your host, Phil Buck, and if you like what we're doing here on the show, help me out by hitting that like button on this video and maybe even sub to the channel. All right, so today I want to share a method with you that I've put to use to make ChatGPT into my own personal assistant. I use ChatGPT for many things, and once I heard the term word calculator used to describe what it does, and I, I don't think I could come up with a better metaphor for Chat. GPT myself, I do think it is really great for summarizing things, reworking the wording that maybe feels awkward, or even taking a bit of information and rewriting it to fit into, say, 50 characters like I do for my YouTube titles. But I really wanted to put it to the test and see if I could get ChatGPT to help me in a really practical way so that I could organize my day's tasks and even slot everything into a schedule. And with the power of the My GPTs feature, uh, I found that it works pretty well. And uh, if you'd like to know more about My GPTs, I did a video on a while back. Make sure you check that out. And now I'm going to show you how I did it. All right, let's get this started. So here I am. I'm in ChatGPT. Uh, if you are a plus subscriber like me, you can go over here to explore GPTs and then from there right up in the top corner You can create a GPT now One thing that I will recommend that was really useful for me is I actually started with a Google Doc Just blank uh, so that I could organize my goals for what I wanted to do And if you're staring at that blank page going, oh gosh, how, how do I even get this started? So I actually used chat GPT to help me figure this out and what I did is I just went and I prompted it Hey, I want to make a GPT and I wanted to take me through a list of my tasks for each day. Help me prioritize what I need to get done. Can you help me go through a series of categories to design a list of tasks for the week? And then I can use that to create questions that the GPT can ask me each day. So it did exactly that. It gave me these lists of categories, work, home, personal development, health, social finance, uh, all great places to start. And it directs me, hey, list your task in those um Categories. So that's what I did is I just went over here. I copy pasted that and I knew that for me uh, There's gonna be some categories that I probably just wasn't gonna prioritize for this list. So I got rid of those And I just kind of focus on what I really need help getting done work home life health Yeah, I think that should do it. So, you know, I would put in there certain things like uh, Monday Edit MSP dispatch uh, Tuesday edit AI roundup. All right. So just fast forwarding a little bit, and this is kind of an abbreviated version of my list, but you know, I've got in my work for MSP media network. I've got in my side projects, like creating memes. I got some information about, Hey, this is when I got to get up and get my kids off to school. Uh, I've also slotted in 30 minutes for exercise. I've also made it a priority to do a high protein breakfast and lunch. Cause I unfortunately forget to eat a lot. <laughs> Okay, so then from here I take this list, I say file download uh, as a PDF. If you are using Microsoft Word or something, obviously you're going to have it on your hard drive. Then jump over here and let's start creating our GPT. Okay, so the process of making a GPT is actually pretty easy because you're actually just talking to the chatbot and telling it what you want to create. So it's going to start off and it's going to say, what would you like to make? And you could even go back to that prompt that you did before. Uh, where you said, hey, I want to make a GPT that will go through my day's task and organize it into a to-do list and a schedule and just paste that right in here. Okay, so that's exactly what I've got here is I'm just pasting the exact same message that we went through earlier as we were getting our document together. That'll get our process started. It's going to ask you for a name. It's suggested one task tracker. It's not great to me, so let's just change it to daily to-do and schedule. You can obviously call it anything you want. So now at this point, it's going to use Dolly to create a profile picture for your GPT. So it'll be nice and easy to find up there in your My GPTs menu. And it will ask you if you want to make any changes. This is totally fine. I mean, it's just whatever. It's just a generic picture. So we'll say that's good. So now it's going to try to refine what this GPT does. It's going to ask you what kind of tasks do you typically work with? 
how would you like the GPT to assist you in categorizing them? Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be really fast and, and try to just get as much information into this video as fast as possible. But I'm going to encourage you as you're doing this to get as granular as possible. Spend some time not only with that doc that we've already been working on, but then in your back and forth with the GPT so you can really get it dialed in. For our purposes, I'm just going to actually go back to our list, grab this that we've already compiled and give it that to work with. Now it's actually just asking some qualifying questions, which is pretty nice. It's asking how it should interact with you. Do you want it to be proactive and check in with you or do you want to do it on your own? Also, how detailed do you want the daily summaries? So, you know, I would say proactive is a great, uh, really great way to interact with this and very detailed summaries. And now it's just doing some more qualifying. How is this GPT going to talk to you? I mean, I think, you know, just casual is fine. And so at this point, you've answered the most basic of the requirements to create a GPT and you can begin testing it. So I, you know, I'll just go over here and try it out and say, please run me through a set of questions to organize my day. And you can take that prompt and make it a, a repeatable uh, action. So you don't have to type it every day you want to do this. And so you can see here now it's going to give you a, a big fat section of questions that you can answer and it'll help you organize your day. Uh, I do think at this point you're going to have to do a few rounds of back and forth uh, with the testing and then with the actual GPT creator to get it dialed in the way that you want. But you'll see here at the end how I was able to do quite a few different stipulations on this GPT so it could work exactly how I want it to. And of course it's going to be different for you. I do want to point out that this is just one way of interacting with the GPT and it is, you know, you have to go through this part of the process to get it done. Uh, a good thing to point out is that when you're in the create panel, you're actually going to be conversing with the chatbot to uh, accomplish the goal of creating this GPT. There are some more direct ways to configure your GPT, which as you can see is under the configure panel. Uh, this is where you can name it, give it a short description, give it those instructions that you just went through. Um, on top of that, you can upload a file, which I think is really important. You can able, you can enable certain things like web browsing, DALI, and code interpreter. That's the thing that can do stuff like writing code. Beyond that, you can choose your own conversation starters. I found this was really useful because you will want to give it that prompt that you use every day. So for me, it was like, you know, let's go through the questions. So basically at this point, once I had all that set up, you know, I had to tell it, okay, now looking at the priority of stuff, I want you to ask me about these things. What are your main tasks that you need to get done for MSP Media Network? What are the tasks that you need to make uh, content for? Right? Like my meme page, Big Dad Energy. Yep, I got to do one there. Another meme page uh, I have is a fake fast food page. Yep, I got to do one of those today. Uh, another important thing to note is that I had to specifically tell ChatGPT to walk me through a series of questions each day rather than trying to ask me everything at once. I just found that was overwhelming and not actually very helpful because I could just do that on my own. But when I have this chat bot kind of holding me to a series of tasks every day, I can say, oh yeah, I do need to do that. Oh yeah, I do need to do that. Oh, not today. That's not on the schedule. This is my important meeting. Um, it actually was really good at kind of like going through a checklist with me and then taking all that information and compiling it, it compiling it into a schedule. And then so what you see here is I, I'm sorry, I blocked out my task because I don't want to reveal all my personal life to you here on the show. <laughs> so if you're wondering why you can't read it all, sorry, that's why. But what you can see here is it's actually given me an hour by hour uh, list based on the priorities that I've set up. And, you know, I can adjust this as needed throughout the day, but now I have a fantastic starting point going from nine to five, you know, what I can get done in a day. And so this is, this is amazing. This is great. And I, uh, I've, I've really, for me, this has been a use case that has just been way more powerful than what I typically use chat GBT for. So I hope, I hope this will be useful for you too. Uh, I, I, and I can tell, I mean, you could actually do a lot more refining with this if I spent more time with it, but considering I, I just spent about an hour, you know, formulating what I wanted to, to do, talking to it, setting it up. Uh, and now it organizes my days for me every day. And I, I think this is a real win. Uh, I hope you tried this out. And if you do uh, share your results with me in the comments or join our MMN Discord, I'd be happy to talk more about my methods for designing this custom GPT as well if you need any advice. 
All right, that's it for today's AI Roundup. If you're enjoying what we do here on the show, please hit that like button and sub to the channel. <laughs> All right, signing off for this May 1st episode of AI Roundup, I'm Phil Buck, and I'll see you next time. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.